Hello everyone, Ty here with another marker pack tutorial video. This video is going to be kind of a precursor to the marker pack academy series where I'm going to cover all of the useful tools and resources at your disposal as a marker pack creator. I'll be sure to include links for everything that I talk about in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or join one of the discord servers also in the description. We'll go ahead and start off with some of the documentation available to you. Can't really talk about marker packs without mentioning TACO. So the very first thing on the list will be TACO's official documentation. I definitely recommend giving this a read. If you go to the TACO website under information, this how to create and share your own markers, will take you to this page where there's a bunch of text that you can read about markers, uh, how they work, the different descriptions and everything, attributes and everything, and how to share them with people. I will say this is very, very dated at this point. This is from the release of Taco. So although the attributes have been kept up to date as he's added more of them, the actual formatting obviously isn't that pretty and can be kind of hard to consume. But nonetheless, if you're serious about getting into marker packs, I definitely recommend at least skimming over this page so you can start to kind of get a feel for what's going on. The second resource that I would mention is the BHUD docs. These are a wonderful resource, especially for attributes. This is provided by the BHUD team and has an extensive list of every single attribute that can be used. If you click on it, it'll show you an example, descriptions of what it does, uh, what data type it's looking for, all that fun stuff. Um, it even has different, for example, specialization, shows you the different values. So definitely when you're first learning the different attributes, I highly recommend checking out the BHUD docs. This is still my go-to, even as an experience creator, anytime that I am working with a new attribute, this is my first stop. And the last bit of documentation that I'll plug here is my own example marker pack GitHub repo. In this repo, you'll find, for example, trail tool, build.bat, you'll find my example XML, and you'll find a written version of all of these videos. So if you are somebody who would rather go ahead and read through all of this information, feel free. Or if you just need a reference after the fact and you just want to go check up on something, everything in these videos is also covered here in the example marker pack repo. With documentation out of the way, we can go ahead and start talking about some of the tools you'll actually need. So of course you have the overlays, Taco and BHUD. If I go ahead and bring those up real quick. Uh, here is Taco. I expect everybody probably knows what this is at this point. But Taco is going to be your main editor using the marker editor right here. If I go ahead and turn my UI back on. You can see BHUD. BHUD actually does not have its own creation suite yet, but that is in the process. And I'll definitely be releasing an updated video when that does come out. But for now, BHUD is just another overlay that in my opinion is a lot cleaner and looks a lot nicer than Taco does. It more seamlessly integrates and has a better user experience. So I would definitely give BHUD a try if you have never used it before. One important thing for marker pack creators is to realize that there are some slight differences between BHUD and Taco. So I definitely would recommend checking your pack in both just to make sure that everything is consistent. One thing that I end up checking a lot is Infotext because how BHUD and Taco renders it is completely different and Taco doesn't always play nice with different spacing and formatting options. Next thing up is Notepad++ which you'll see me using throughout the tutorial series. 
So I go ahead and bring it up right now. Essentially all it is is Notepad on steroids. Uh, it provides us some nice syntax highlighting. Also provides us an extensive find and replace tool. And just generally gives us better quality of life than most other text editors. You can, of course, use other text editors if you're more comfortable with them. But if you don't have anything that you're already using, I definitely recommend picking up Notepad++. I do a ton of my XML editing in it. Next thing that I'll mention is TRL tool, which is another way that we can create and edit trails. I'm not going to go too in detail about it. I'll talk more about it in the trail creation video. But this is another option for when you are creating and editing trails. And last but not least is build.bat, which if I open our example folder here and right click it, build.bat is just a batch file that I've created because I'm lazy. Um, all it does is automatically zips up and renames your taco file for you. So as you can see here, it's just deleting the existing pack uh, using command line WinRAR with some fancy parameters to zip up our data and example pack.xml. And then it just renames example pack to dot taco for us. Like I said, this is purely because I'm lazy. You'll find when you're making packs that you'll end up having to rezip your pack quite a lot whenever you're trying to test new changes, which typically you would just select your XML and your data, right click, and then you're going to add to archive, zip, and then you click OK. Uh, you'd name it whatever you want. And then afterwards, you would have to rename it to a dot taco. Build.bat does all of that for you in half a second. And as you see, it's already given us a new dot taco. There are two other tools that I'll talk about in the next video when we talk about creating our own GitHub repository. And that is Visual Studio Code and GitHub Desktop. I'll leave links to them in the description. However, I'm not going to cover them in this video because I'll be doing that in the next video. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or join one of the Discord servers in the description. Thanks for watching and happy trails.